Mm. Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. This is Type 2 Semi-Perpetual System Magnetic Accelerator Closed Loop Shunt m Using Permanent Magnets. Type 1 is being illustrated first. Again, I made a another video. Please go watch that video for Type 1 in detail. It is a Type 1 semi-perpetual system magnetic accelerator closed loop shunt using permanent magnets. Now, the, the first, the Type 1 magnetic accelerator is shown here, is a permanent magnet accelerator with a V as in violet with a V gate at the end shaped like a V and equally distant the magnets are equally distant from the track equally distant from the track this is to allow the ball magnet the ball magnet here magnetic ball right here or projectile to exit the accelerator so that the ball ball projectile may leave the magnetic fields of the track tracks track magnets and continue along the track along the track exits with no magnetic field strength against it continue along the track until entering the accelerator at the starting point again. Here is the starting point. Start point right here at zero degrees. Starts right here. The ball reaches here. Attracted into, attracted into the track by the magnet, by the track magnets here. Goes all the way around. And exit attracted into, around and around. Now, this is repeated indefinitely since the ball is under strong momentum because of the magnetic fields. More than one ball can be used. In type 1, you can put 10 balls because they will all go around, but a system must be set up to use that momentum and a simple way to use some of that strong momentum is used you set up that also magnets of any power strength and sizes may be used for those of you who have accelerators already set up go ahead and make both types one and two as shown in this video and put it on YouTube and Daily Motion. Since you have experiment knowledge and know how on these matters, Type 2 semi perpetual system does not use a V gate but allows the projectile to leave the magnetic accelerator. Type 2. Semi perpetual system. It's a magnetic accelerator. It's a closed loop shunt. It does not, does not use a V gate, but it is made up of permanent magnets. Now, <coughs> this is the magnetic projectile. And that projectile. When it is, it is accelerated from the projectile start, start point by the track magnets. It starts to go around the track and it, it, is, it is built up momentum and it exits, exits, exit. This is the exit point right here. Exits and the magnets are at 45 degrees, slanted 45 degrees. And this is a top view. And the projectile goes all the way, comes out of the accelerator, magnetic accelerator, goes around, all the way around, and all the way 
back, attracted right back into, reaches the start point and is attracted right back into the magnetic, magnetic accelerator, exits, goes around, enters, attracted into, attracted into, exits, around and around indefinitely. This is the direction, of course, and this is the, the track loop. It is a closed loop, and this is a linear, a linear accelerator, a linear accelerator, which forces by momentum the projectile, which the projectile can be a ball magnet or it can be a rectangular magnet that goes all the way around in both cases. In both cases, you must remove the, the, the friction off of the track. All friction must be gone to let the, let the projectile go around and around. You must remove all friction off of the track. Now, this brings us to the first principle. The first principle is that the projectile, ball, or rectangular magnets must be allowed to exit. Principle number two, the projectile must exit with enough momentum to carry it back to the starting point repeatedly. Principle three, a certain percentage, whether 10%, 15%, 30%, 35%, 40%, etc., of that momentum must or can be used to do work without stopping the system in order to become a machine. Type 2 has a linear ex ex accelerator and sends the projectile to exit, once again, sends the projectile to exit into a circular type track all the way around and back to the starting point where it is attracted into the accelerator again. The track can be completely circular except for the accelerator port, which is linear, which is linear, or as it is shown in this video. Now, I want, for those of you who already know about that magnetic accelerators and have built some, go ahead and make this one. And I want to thank everyone for listening and watching, and have a fine day.